Okay, there's a quick demo of a new Olympus microscope. So I'm already at 10 times, so I'll bring it back up to 4 times objective through the eyepiece, which means the eyepiece is 10 times. That's 40. So you're looking at a pencil that's 40 times magnified. It's got excellent um, focus and control there. And I'm just flashing a LED bike light around here. So that's the, pen, that's the pencil tip. Very fine movement. Control on the stage, the microscope stage. So let's have a look at see what focus we get on the, the wood. That gives you an idea of just the clarity at this high. Magnification, but it's still fairly low for this scope. This scope can go to 400 times. You can see, it's still quite shallow, so you have to have to move it along to see focus of the whole object. I'm finally getting roughly used to the this stage and how to control. <laughs> it's a bit back to front. This looks like a label here. And so I'm operating <laughs> with this LED with one hand and focusing with the other. So it's paint. So you can see the label and how the dots that you just can't see when you see the printed dots. The process. That's fairly boring, isn't it? Let's bring it up. Find something to zoom in on. Ah, because all the see there's the ridge there. Didn't realise how broken the ridge look, ridge appeared. Oh no, I've just touched the pencil. <laughs> I don't think it's a very sophisticated holding method here. So there we go. You see your hair there. So we'll bring up to ten times objective now, which makes Makes it a hundred, magnification a hundred. Gently go through there and focus a bit. So there's the wood in that here again, getting bigger and bigger, and there's all of the rips. It's a fun to go for the hair, hey? Whatever it is, go for the junction here. And I'll bring it up to, ooh, I don't know if we're going to do this. I don't want to touch the objective on the pencil. Yep, just. Now this high magnification. Now, the stage is very stable, it's just that the pencil's not actually held on very well. So there's that edge again. You can see that tiny dot which you can't really see from your your eye, you know, the naked eye. You can't see them at all and now they're pretty well giant. Now I'm not touching the I'm not touching the microscope at all. Basically my breathing <laughs> is making it move. What well, I can see just incredibly small vibrations. And then we'll just move out to the wood. Oh, that's that hair we saw for. Very shallow focus there, but it's clearly flat. Even at 10 times I'm finding the focus still pretty amazing with the objective, so it's, it's 100, 100 times magnification. It's still pretty um, smooth and very good field of view. Now I'll we'll see further down. Here's a fun little subject. Do you know what this is? Tell what's happening. 
Well, that's pretty good timing. I didn't mean to do that. If you're familiar with watches, you know it's a watch. So it looks like I'm just thinking out. Yeah, it's the hour hand of my Wenger watch. You can see all the embedded um, the crystals there for the fluorescent effect. I'll just move it around a bit and see the hinge there. Everything looks so huge in this world, doesn't it? I'll show you something I've found. Quite intriguing when I was fiddling around. Here, look at this. The minute hand is... You can see the minute hand moving vibrating as each second goes by in your life as your life runs away I hadn't noticed it with this watch it's a reasonably good quality watch only a couple hundred bucks but it's a beautifully made watch I think Wenger is a great brand but um you can't really see this movement much in the naked eye but it's <laughs> bloody huge at this, this magnification I'll bring it up to 100 now and you can see it's literally flying along experts think in this microscopy world but wouldn't mind betting this hundreds pretty well the sweet spot on this scope. It's hard to work backwards on this thing. So let's look at that. Gee, this look how crisp that is at a hundred times is even a pretty wide focus range. So you can just the light just however you want, get the right reflections and these little LED lights, I reckon they're just a revolution for this hobby. Doom, doom, your life. Going away. Let's look at the number. Did you, you see the 3D effect of the digits quite easily. <laughs> so that's the number four there. Which is really... These are pretty big digits on this, which is not one of these massive He-Man watches, but it's they're fairly big digits, but still they're pretty small. And look at that, you can just see they, again the paint of the surface that they've um, applied it on. Uh, and I don't think I can go any more without impacting the objective onto the watch, which will probably wreck both things. Amazing stuff, isn't it? Okay, last little subject is a, a very old, very dry dead fly I found on the floor. Actually, I killed it ages ago, but kept it for a while. This little hobby just gets you keeping um, everything, <laughs> everything that you find, every little tiny thing. So this is at a 40 times magnification with a four times objective, 10 times eyepiece. Um, and yeah, these little LED lights are pretty good. You can obviously you're using it by hand. If I was to take a, a photograph to even remotely attempt the amazing photos of Charles Krebs um, <laughs> I'd be um, obviously holding it still and so on and be using a proper um, trinocular for the camera but still I find it pretty amazing what you can see uh, yeah so I'll just have to re rest this slide on the tripod I'll have to get a right band for it I think you can see all the different details on the wings this is the base of the hinge of the wing We'll go in a little bit more. You can just see the sheer size of what we're looking at here. We'll move the whole tripod then, that's not a good procedure. I don't know what I'm looking at now. Let's bring this, this probably a bit of the wing here. See? Everything looks so alien. Still the hairs. That would make a good photo if I stacked it. Yeah, well I think that's about it. That's nice stuffing around. So yeah, hope you got an idea of what this most Olympus microscope's all about. Fantastic. Thanks to uh, Craig too for selling it.